It looks like I'll have to trade. Don't waste your breath. It looks like I'll have to trade. Don't waste your breath. It looks like I'll have to trade. Don't waste your breath. It looks like I'll have to drink. Don't waste your breath. It looks like I'll have to drink. Don't waste your breath.
Stupid crap, man. I don't know if he was busy, if he caught up, got caught up doing something or what, but that's annoying. For those watching this, let me lower this down a little bit just in case. Just a little tech for any any chem players who might be watching this, who might be new. Um, a lot of people talk crap about the overhead and how slow it is, how it's extremely hard to time the overhead, which is true. Uh, but even with that being true, it's more of a psychological thing. And you can actually have a very high level of success using that overhead to get into your opponent's head. Uh, something that I use quite a lot, even at Super Platinum, which, I mean, I'm sure if I ever get to Diamond rank and up and stuff like that, people are really going to start being more attuned to it. I mean, I still get punished, you know, from time to time using it now. Um, but it, it's such a good tool in the sense that you can fake with it. And that fake is so powerful because you can get a V-Trigger if you were to fake, go low, and V-Trigger, see a lot of people don't go for that option. What they'll go for with the feint low is this. The, they'll go for that. Which, I mean, that's still an option, and you can still cancel that into something like Critical Art. Or you could even do this, which I was doing before I started going for the Crouching Medium Kick low. That is still pretty good, and V-Trigger, that's still pretty decent damage. But I've, I've just been seeing so much success. Uh, even in non-V-Trigger, you can still get the EX Fireball uh, confirmed off the Crouching Medium Kick, and confirm that into Light Kick Tatsu, and then Heavy Punch DP. On Counter Hit, you get two, 279 damage. I think that is extremely powerful. That is a game changer right there for, for the overhead fake. Because as soon as people see this, you know, the majority of people, they're just going to block high. They're just going to block high. And if you were to cancel that into, into Crouching Medium Kick EX Fireball, you're plus on block. Yeah, my, my pad is garbage. You're plus after that. Whereas if you were to go low, like if you hit your plus, obviously, but if, if they were to block the set and like it, you're minus one and you can't continue pressure. So you, you can follow up with uh, the EX Fireball, you know, and continue pressure. You know, even if they block, you know, you're still gonna be in a plus one situation, which I mean, at worst, you know, you're going to get a trade off a of jab because Ken doesn't have a three frame. But if you know your opponent's trying to press buttons, you can really blow them up with like like kick dots or some crap. But that's more of a hard read right there. Um, but legit, 
I hate, <laughs> I seriously hate when that happens. Um, or I do the crouching medium kick and try to do fireball because I, I, I feel, I think just because, like so, sometimes it just gets the forward input on there and it's really aggravating. But yeah, that combo right there is extremely good. And you don't even have to, like, if you know for a fact, like, you, you've got in your opponent's head, because I, I love just abusing this right here. Like, when I know my OP is decent off a of knockdown, and I got time if I got, like, a hard knockdown or something, I love going for that fake and into that. But sometimes, if I know for a fact my opponent, like, so, what I like to do sometimes um, because even even though the overhead is minus six, you can space it to where it's extremely difficult to punish it off a of normal. So there are times where at this distance right here, I will use my overhead because nobody is expecting you at this distance. Very few people, unless you're just holding back by default, will expect you to do an overhead from this distance because the overhead forward heavy kick takes you forward. And, and it hits. You see what I'm saying? So, well, I like to sometimes do that to test how my opponents are going to react to the overhead. And, uh, you know, see if they're going to try and block it. And, you know, a lot of times it, it's fairly safe from that distance. So, uh... Not always safe, but fairly safe. And I mean, it, it, it's funny as hell too when you when you end a match like that too, because it, like I said, not a lot of people are expecting an overhead from that distance. You know what I'm saying? And he, even even his uh, even his uh, back medium kick has has actually a pretty good range on it. It has more range than. <laughs> Yeah, it has it seems like a little bit more range than a stand medium kick, which is pretty funny, and it's an overhead. But uh, but yeah, doing overhead, yeah, <laughs> overhead into crouching heavy punch, <laughs> yeah, into that right there. Or if you know for a fact your opponent's gonna block high, and let's say you you want to get critical or something and finish some finish the match. Just go straight into the light kick Tatsu, or even even uh, you know you can do medium kick Tatsu, but it's not gonna be I think as good with damage. Let me try that. Nah, not nearly as good. It's better to do the light kick uh, Tatsu into heavy punch DP, cancel on second hit uh, for more damage. If you know for a fact your opponent's gonna block high. But, but yeah, that's what I've been going for lately, and it's literally a game changer, like I said. Not many people uh, really expect you to do that kind of thing, and in V-Trigger, I just love it, man. That is so much. Look, 376 off one bar. One bar. And so, until it gets to the point in my matches where I just get blown the hell up for using my overhead every time or something, or I'm just, you know, seeing like 90% failure rate, some crap like that, I'm gonna keep on using that thing because I still think that feint is very strong. And like I said, from a distance, even in neutral, in neutral, you use that overhead in neutral, like from that distance, and watch how your opponents react to it. it, it it's kind of hilarious a lot of times. Kind of hilarious. But yeah, we're still getting warmed up. Like, we were playing earlier in the day today, but we're still getting warmed up. I just hopped back on. So, we're going to see how this goes. <laughs> yeah, that's how I got blown up for it. Uh, he was ready for it, that's it. I was trying to jab him out of it. Ah, 
Oh man. <laughs> Missed the grab too. Like, that's legit tech right there. Ah, oh, man, they get to it. Oh, wow. How did that not punish? Something I've been trying to get more used to doing is uh, hit confirming, buffering, and input. Obviously, uh, you know, both both medium punches, crouching and standing, and also crouching medium kick. Those are the two that I've really been trying to pay more attention to as far as focusing on. Catching dashes. Oh no. That was a good answer, though. You gotta learn when to stop dashing. Good bait. That was a good bait. <laughs> yeah, he's blowing me up for it. Oh, that was a cross up. Okay. You know, I'm trying to bait that. I love doing that shit. Oh man, I had to counter it jab. That's why I went for it. Good job, dude. Ah, 
I knew he was gonna do it. Plus frames, baby. See, a lot of people, you know, they know with Ken, when he does the EX Fireball, especially in V-Trigger, plus three. So you can get back medium punch and counter hit, you know, basically anything that they press. So a lot of people at this level think that you're gonna keep pressing buttons after that. And I, I could tell he was savvy a little bit with the frame data. Um, so I, I just had, it's all about trusting your gut sometimes, you know, all about trusting your gut. Had a feeling he was gonna EX DP after that. I know a lot of people do. Uh, even so, even when I'm in mirror matches with Ken, or e I guess any character that has an EX Fireball, you know, most of the time they'll want to press buttons. So I, I, I really can't blame the dude for pressing a button right there. They're trying to match the XDP. Cost him the match though. It's really crazy, you know, all the time I spent playing, this is the first fighting game which I've taken, you know, decently serious since I started playing, uh, you know, fighting games at all. Uh, this is the one I've actually, you know, taken some time to learn. And, uh, yeah, I mean, I know it's not as complicated as, with the mechanics as far as a lot of other fighting games go, but there's still a whole lot of mental gymnastics in this game that you have to learn. You gotta be able to, obviously you're not gonna be able to do this all the time, but you gotta be able to create situations a good amount of the time where you're in your opponent's head, you know? I use Ken's stand he uh, heavy kick. my gameplay and they'll think bro you're just freaking retarded and on a good level you're right but there's also a level of I don't care involved that was a good confirm well I mean he didn't really confirm that that was a confirm Oh no, that was supposed to be EXDP. <laughs> you gotta do it. You gotta do it. If you play Ken, you gotta do it. Sorry, I don't even know why I keep using the heavy kick. You know, one thing that I've been trying to steadily practice in the corner, it's very difficult to do the input on a, on a D-pad like this, like a Hori pad, uh, but doing crouch heavy punch into a DP input, you know, to save bar, like right there I used EX bar to finish the match, which I mean it was fine. 
And of course, the sweet tech. I'm a challenge, I'm a challenge. He's doing a good job of like, challenging with over it. You know, yeah, but yeah, that, D, that DP input after, I love doing that. If you're, if you're a Ken, keep that in mind, if you like using uh, Heavy Kick Tatsu. Disregard the bar. Oh damn, I thought I had him. Oh! Crispy! Stop whipping buttons! <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that, that is something, that input that, you know, just going into Crouch Heavy Punch DP. Like, Crouch Heavy Punch double DP, Light, light Punch DP and then Heavy Punch DP after B trigger activation in the corner. And also, uh, you know, doing that non V trigger, you know, that right there, oh man, like I got it that time, but it is so hard to do that consistently, especially if you're under pressure. And if you're a Ken player, I, I would strive, you know, because I know if you're playing on D pad, especially, that is going to be something that. You know, you, you might just get it, you know, you might not struggle like like I do or a lot of other people do. But you can, that is going to be like the single most rewarding uh, combo you can do into Critical Art. Oh. And then uh, non V Trigger. See right there, right there. You know, if you're a pan player, strive to learn that combo. Uh, 523. I don't think there's a, a, another, correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't think there's another combo you can do that will net you as much damage, you know, because you don't have as much scaling on it as this combo will. Jump heavy punch, crouch heavy punch into heavy punch DP. Castle into critical alert off the second hit. You know, strive to learn that combo because if you can do that, that will save you a lot of matches if you're really good at it. Because when you start, you know, when you get to the point where you got somebody in stun or something like that and the scaling is already pretty high, you know, you're gonna want the most damage with the least amount of hits to go into that critical art and that is the combo to go for. You'll see a lot of the pro players who play Ken, uh, they will go for that pretty much every single time. Um, and then you you do also have uh, I don't even hold on. I don't even know if this gives you as much damage that no it does it gives you more okay but that's in V trigger though if you're a V trigger you know jump heavy crouch heavy light punch DP and then heavy punch DP castle on the third hit and you get 567 that's off counter hit though. Uh, yeah, I just got a counter hit on right now. Um. <clears throat> and there are other combos. Uh, like, I know a lot of people on certain characters, you can get some pretty insane damage combos, like six, 700 damage. Like, I know on Abigail, if you were to do uh, uh, Ken's Air, Air Tatsu, not the, not the EX version, just the regular... Air Tatsu, and you know, if you get a few hits off that and confirm that into, into a, a combo of sorts, you can get some pretty insane damage off that. It's been a while since I fought Colleen. I, I like fighting, I like fighting Colleen. I think this is a fun matchup. Um, it can be very annoying though, because I know a lot of Colleen's like to spam parry on wake up, and that will keep you guessing. So, we're gonna see how this goes.
See? See what I'm saying? So he's trying to establish that. Go ahead, do it. Do it, do it. Jump, jump. Oh, dang, I tried to. Oh, man, I was trying to bump for DP. Dwayne! Oh no! <laughs> Damn it! I was trying to do an overhead. Oh, buddy, what's going on, homie? We got some super platinum Ken going on. This guy's pretty decent. Not what's happening though. Oh, where's my blocking at? Man, he tried to parry my face, bro. Man, eat that DP. Go ahead, parry. I knew- Ooh, I had to read too. Oh, God. Lag. Damn, man. What the hell is this connection? Yo, I ain't giving this dude a run back. Win or lose. I don't care. I don't know where the hell that the skipping frames just came from, bro. He's lag switching, man. He's lag switching. Yeah, it's been a minute since I uh, streamed, man. Engage the suspicious activity <laughs> stuff. Yeah, Dwayne. At work, man. Sorry, I keep I keep forgetting, bro. What what did you say you were working at? Uh, where did where are you working at now? Is this Smoothie? I've been fighting a guy lately named Smoothie. Smoothie! I knew it! I saw that costume! Man, this guy plays really annoying. Not in a good way. Like, he doesn't play good. He just plays annoying. <laughs> He's doing high-end white people boutique security. Keep him safe, bro. Those white people are leading us. <laughs> nah, let me stop, bro. <laughs> oh no! What the? <laughs> See, this is what I mean. Like. Oh gosh. Jeez, bro. He just plays like really stupid. Let me see if I can do this.
Like he just wake up, wake up, Tatsu, wake up, grab, sweep, and jump in. That's like all the and, and wake up DP. That's all this guy does. And then he'll hit you with the occasional crush counter. Oh man, I had DP buff. See? See, just freaking sleeping. Like, this guy has zero neutral game. Bro, I DP'd that crap. Like, that was stupid. That was, that was stupid as hell. I DP'd that. Like really, I just gotta let him kill himself. Round See, for some reason, I, I've been having against this. Like, there's just certain people, you know, the way they play. Like, sometimes you just have trouble hitting, like, meaties and crap on them. Look at that crap, man. Just sweep. Keep pressing, bars. Keep pressing buttons. Look at that, mashing. Shut up. <clears throat> he, he is not good. But he'll win matches just like out randoming you. That's the thing. He's like me, but dumber. Go ahead. <laughs> oh. <laughs> he knows his Ogi off the. Oh my! I DP that. Get off me, dude. Like, I swear that was a meaty grab, but he, he beats it. He just beats it. Wow. Jump. This guy. Smoothie. DP. You have got to be kidding me, dude. He's acting like he's he just random as hell. That's all he does. It's just random BS. Mash DP, mash sweep, wake up grab, and it works. It's, it works.
It's like watching a man. I, I don't compare me to him though. <laughs> I might sometimes do random stuff. I've gotten a lot more technical though. Yeah, I definitely should have just uh, played patient that match though with that guy. Hmm. Cause, cause he wants you to play fast pace. That, that's, that's all he wants because that's how he catches you. And I don't know. I just didn't know. Like I, I beat that guy plenty of times before. I, I've two owed him like four or five times already. But sometimes, you know, I just don't have patience to deal with it, and he, and he catches me, and he, and he wins, and he, and then he taunts it like he, like he's hot crap or something, like literally. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I definitely have been uh, trying to be... It, it's, it's definitely been a learning process for me. Um, trying to be more patient with a lot of things. But I've, I've been getting steadily better at uh, DPing, you know, anti-airs. Uh, I've been doing a lot of uh, hit affirming. Like the other day, man, like there, there are certain people that I play like, I've been trying to get really into the dashes and, you know, just sticking out buttons and uh, buffering inputs. Man, y'all, I was playing this Ryu the other day, and I was just blowing him the hell up with Crouching Medium Punch Heavy Kick Tatsu because he just kept dashing on me, dude. And the thing about Ryu is he has the fastest dash in the game, so you can't physically react to it. But I, what I can physically react to is when I get a counter hit, and then I, I buffer the input, and I just press Heavy Kick. So... I've been trying to get better at the, oh look at that, as soon as I mention Ryu, it, it, this might be the dude actually that I was uh, hit confirming on. So, l let's see, let's see. That's him! <laughs> That's so funny! That's so funny, this is literally the guy I was talking about, Shining Suiko. He was the guy I was doing it to, because he, he's actually like a pretty decent Ryu otherwise. Let's see if I can do it again. You see, you see, you're sticking it out. Oh no! You see, he keeps dashing. Fair, fair, fair. Dashing. Damn it. Oh my god, that was supposed to be critical art. Are you <laughs> I don't even know, dude. I, I dropped the hell out of that one. I accidentally pressed punch instead of kick. That was supposed to be a critical art castle. Kind of panicked. Quick rise.
No, I did. I'll, I'll check it out later. Yeah, dude, I've been I've been playing quite a few. I've been playing these like. I've been playing some outskirts myself too. You see, right there. Now we're getting it. Keep dashing. Man, I was mashing. I beat me to it. <laughs> he just stuck out heavy punch. Eat this DP. Yo, this guy is like one out of five on those DPs. Oh no! I had it! He jumped! Oh no! <laughs> Did I just lose the match? Uh, all right, bro. Have a go, man. Almost had him. Thanks for stopping by.
guys did not come out. Why is it taking so long for <laughs> the stupid matchmaking system to put me with somebody? Any Ken players watching for the first time from trying to learn Ken and V Trigger, single most damaging one bar combo. And of course, it lags as I try to do it. That's something I hate about. This game being online in training mode is that it'll lag in training mode. Come on, man. <laughs> Can't get this basic on. Yeah, so off counter hit, you got 464. As far as damage goes, that's one bar. Something I've been trying to touch on in training mode that I have yet to really do in matches is the air tatsu. Because you can get, that's pretty much 400 damage right there off an air Tatsu uh, confirm. That single hit the, is probably, I think it's the most damaging hit. Because that's 108. That's 120. I, I think that's the single most damaging hit that you can do off a single hit. Well, I mean, if you want to get technical about it, I guess that does count as a special move. I was kind of thinking about it in the sense of a normal hit. But, uh... But, yeah. What I, uh, what I guess I mean to say is the scaling on that is going to be very little. So you can get some pretty ridiculous combos off that. And on certain tall characters, you can hit it multiple times, so... Kanzuki, I don't know why people pick these stages, man. They're so laggy. Jeez, like you, you can already see the frame lag, like it's ridiculous. It's because you picked the stage in order. This guy. Anybody who picks these damn sages is a freaking moron.
I don't people if you if you watch this and you play this game, just pick the grid. Like if you're doing online play, just pick the grid. You know, so many people in this game complain about lag and stuff. And yet, they don't pay attention to the stages that they're picking. You got stages like this, with an incredible amount of animations in the background that the stage also has to render, while it's trying to also render your gameplay. Of course it's gonna be laggy when you pick stages like that. Honestly, I'm surprised, well, I don't even know why I hit rematch, I should've just exited myself. But when you pick the grid, look, I mean, you, you don't got anything much that your your system has to deal with. Your internet connection doesn't have to render a whole lot on the grid, you know. I mean, I can understand on, on a certain level, you know, why people pick certain stages. You know, you want to get used to playing on those stages, especially if you're aspiring to some, like, tournament gameplay or something like that. But, you know, overall, man, like, what I value the most personally is just a decent connection. And when people are picking all these other stages that, you know, have all these animations, and you can visibly see the difference in the lag. Balrog is a pretty tough matchup for Ken, I won't lie. You know, I guess to the point a lot of times. What? Dude! Yo, that is so crazy! Because... I, on, I used to, I, I played RuneScape, and one of my first accounts that I ever created on RuneScape was called Silver Inferno. And this guy's called Silver Inferno. That is so funny. Yo, that's hilarious, man. I gotta, I gotta message him. That's so funny. Here we go. No, no, I'm not dealing with it. back right now dude that's so cool like somebody else is using your name that you had for a username before I know it sounds corny like when you say it out loud silver inferno you know I was like 15 when I created that username the Praetorian also sounds kind of corny too <laughs> oh I try to deal with it. Good size wish. See Balrog? That that overhead is kinda like Ken's fake. That's one of the most similar moves I think to Ken Ken's overhead in the game. Oh yeah, he did the over the Ah, oh, man, missed time. Dude, are you... For sometimes it'd be a noob, right? Oh, 
Oh, dude. Here we go. Oh, God. Connection. We're gonna see. You know, the part of me that lost always wants to rematch, like regardless of circumstance. We're gonna see if he does it back. Okay. Respect, respect. I wouldn't have judged him really if he chose not to run it back, so. Stupid crap like that, you know. I gotta, I gotta try the XDP afterwards to see if they press a button. Cause most sensible people, you know, you do a like a tatsu. So sometimes when you're when they're you're doing it in the middle of pressure strength, that you just randomly do a tatsu. They're not expecting it, and so they're not ready to punish it. But they'll they'll realize at the last second he just did a like a tatsu. That's minus. I should press a button, and that's when they die. <laughs> You know, the, 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 the randomness of this game, you know, sometimes you take risks and you realize, you know, when you get to your opponent's head for even a split second, that they're gonna try to react to it. And that's what that stupid crap is about, like, like, yeah, on, on, a, on a good level, I shouldn't be doing that. You know, old habits, you know, I came into this game not doing crap, old habits die hard, you know, like Iktatsu, that's one of Ken's only three frame moves uh, alongside with that. I think that is supposed to be like a, or, or maybe a, his overhead, his, his uh, whatever. Anyway, that's one of Ken's only three frame moves. So sometimes, you know, you just, you just feel that urge to do it, you know, to catch your opponents off guard, hopefully. One thing I need to get more comfortable doing I want to I start doing that combo. See, that that would be like the ideal combo right there for me on a feature graduation. I need to get more comfortable doing that. Getting the motion for the Crouch Heavy Punch DP input, it's coming along more and more. But until I can actually do that under pressure, you know, I'm not gonna say that I can comfortably do it, so. Some stupid can tech. 
Some people will fall for that. <laughs> You'd be surprised. Sometimes you just gotta break out random crap. See, because Ken, at this point in the game, most people understand how to play against Ken. So you gotta do random crap, okay? One thing that I, that I still find, though, that's like season one tech, that people still get hit by all the time, simply because uh, they're not expecting it, is this deal. Wait, no, sorry. Uh, so, when, when you do a uh, V-Trigger activation... <laughs> let, let me just do switch to the center screen. Oh my, why is it not coming out? What the hell is wrong with me? People still get hit by that all the time. Like, it really throws them off. And depending on the rise that they do, you will sometimes land on the other side. So if they don't realize themselves in the spur of the moment, okay, I'm doing this kind of rise, so he's gonna be on this side. You know, I would say the success rate for this, at this rate even, I get that around like seven out of 10 times. Which is pretty good, so, you know, to keep using it. Yeah, especially in the corner, too. You know, because it, it's even more inconspicu inconspicuous there. But yeah, mainly, I mainly only do that off of, I don't know why, like, <laughs> like, in a match it'll come out like super smoothly. But yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's like a legit setup too, like if they press a button, well maybe not with crouch medium punch, like the reason I go for that sometimes, well a lot of the time is because, wow, you can, you can get that combo, that combo does a ridiculous amount of damage for a neutral based combo, non jump in, I think it's one of Ken's most damaging uh, combos in neutral. I actually think it is like the most damaging combo, but just like that you can do in center screen. Of course, you gotta use a bar for it, but 356, of course, counter hit. Um, that's still very respectable damage. Man, I really, uh, I would love to use Ken's Crush Counter combos more if they did a little bit more damage. Ah, come on. Try to meet him, kick Tatsu. Zeku. Zeku has like a weird hitbox. Like even with two hits, like I'll usually get the follow-up DP. Like, okay. Sometimes you'll get that side switch juggle. I mean you can you can get some like fancy looking crap. This is one this combo is one I still have yet to hit in a game. No, not that one. No. Ah, I almost had it. Mm. 
That one right there, I think that is one of like the sickest looking combos that Ken has. And it has a respectable amount of damage, 300. I mean, you have to use a bar for it, but it used to be more pre-nerf. Pre, uh, but yeah, it's uh, still very sexy looking. Yeah, playing Ken in this game is definitely... It's a hard character to play, but he's very rewarding when you do win with him. And you can... He just has so much... Compared to a lot of other characters in this game, the versatility as far as the amount of things that you can do with Ken to keep things fresh, you know, it's 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 pretty awesome. Like, Ken has some pretty technical stuff. The Kage... We do, he's on level 22. Oh god, I love it. Block. He did a good job blocking, but he still got caught afterwards. See, that's another thing I like about that overhead. Oh no, he DP'd. Like I said, you're plus. You're plus after, even though you're plus one. A lot of times, you know, unless they're mashing a three fang move, you know, you can sometimes get away with a uh, back heavy punch. I mean, a uh, back medium punch. Way too far. Yeah, he pressed the button after the X fireball, and then he got counter hit. Man, you ain't good, bro. Go ahead, jump. He's all hopping around, man. Like he had some swag on him. 
I'll be right back, y'all. It's okay. That's also a pretty swaggy combo. Who do we got? Okay, Dawson, I always go V Trigger 2. You can go V Trigger 1, but honestly, I just have had Hob. I barely. Wait, no, no, no. This guy plays Ed. I hate Ed. He also has a 68 Dawson? Wow, that's crazy. Um, anyways, I've had so much success. Whoa. Compared to V-Trigger 1 usage with V-Trigger 2 against Dawson. Because he loves to throw the projectiles and his super is a projectile. V-Trigger 1 is projectile invisible. Wow, that lag. You see, he loves to throw projectiles. Do it. Side switch, side switch. So bad. What the hell, dude? Ugh. You know, I'm about to just shut off this uh, music. I literally just hit pause. Jesus Christ. Sorry.
Also, this stage tends to, even though it's a standstill stage, this still tends to be one of the laggier stages. Definitely one of the worst matchups in this game for Ken. It's literally like you're you just have to change like it is so you cannot tell me as a camp player that you can play this matchup without taking risks. I, I don't blame him, I don't blame him. You can't play that matchup without taking risks as a camp player, it's just not possible. This lens or is it the, the spacing is just way too difficult to deal with. Even like as a Shoto player, um, uh, Ryu, I think has a much easier time with Dalsim, um, because you can get away with, uh, you can catch his limbs more often with his parry, with Ryu's parry. I wish Ken had a parry, you know, that'd be, I think that'd be pretty sick if they get uh, Ken as parry back. But yeah, Ryu has an easier time. But Dalsum in general, I think gives a lot of characters a very difficult time. It's just, there's not a whole lot of people that play him, especially at tournament level. Like, there's only a few Dalsims that really make it high at tournament level, like, that are that dedicated to playing the character. But yeah, terrible matchup for Ken. Um, I, I mean, I've beat quite a few Dawsons at this point, even in, in at this rank. So it's definitely possible, but you gotta take risks, and you gotta... I mean, not only like do stupid crap, like as far as being minus on block, but also making hard reads, which can get really aggravating. Round one. Let's see how I do against DJ. That's plus two. Thank you. 
See, I took a risk there after EX Fireball because I play this guy quite a bit now, and I know he, he likes to try and press buttons after that. So I just went ahead and did Life Punch DP because I know that would beat whatever option he had. So, and it panned out. It panned out. I hate playing Balrog so much. Oh man, that was supposed to be a heavy punch. Beat it too. He keeps doing EX dash to like beat any hits that I get out. quite a bit at this point you win so I tend to have kind of like a set way I tend to play against him I mean you can only do so much but yeah we've gone pretty back and forth when I first started playing him I like I mean I you know I won pretty decisively this time too I first started playing him I, I would beat him pretty decisively all the time it got to a point one day where he finally beat me started catching on to my strategy and then, uh, and then for, for some time now, we've actually been going back and forth. So he'll get some games, I'll get some games. Uh, I remember one time he teabagged me, and then I teabagged, we got to like this little teabag thing, but now we kind of stopped doing that. We just, you know, if we win, we win. No teabag. Um, but yeah, I played that guy quite a bit. I think, because I, I gotta eat soon. This might be the one or two more matches, and then. We'll call it a day for the stream. Oh, you. Karen. I I have a love hate relationship with the Karen matchup. On one hand, I, it, it's like, it's fun to play, but it can also be very frustrating. And it, it's very rewarding if you win against Karen as Ken. You know, Karen has very good neutral options, so, you know, if you get if you get stuff off in neutral, hit confirms and stuff like that, it feels very, very good. That was a good challenge. Good jump out. 
Sight every time it gets carried out of that. Get off me. Wow. This dude loves jumping out of the corner. I can challenge too. Jimmy too. Oh man, I tried to. I knew he was gonna do that. I was trying to buffer the critical R input so I could catch him. I've caught quite a few Karens doing that crap too. annoying things about playing Ken like when you know people are just sitting there crowd I'm gonna I'm try to hit this guy with some more overheads too when you know people are just sitting there blocking you know you do V trigger activation and you want to get a grab but you can't get the grab immediately after you know if they're crouching so you got like delay which puts you at risk to get hit and you know, like get counter hit Pressing buttons. Oh man, I was supposed to be a hit confirm. Am I stunned? Now, of course, he's like lagging now. I don't know if you can tell those frames are skipping. That's really aggravating. This dude's not half bad. I know I, I beat that guy before. I know I can beat him. Yeah, we'll do one more game. Hopefully, we'll end on the win. Stopping by, say hi.
Uh oh. This is another matchup that is kind of like hair and love hate. It can be very rewarding to win it, but also very frustrating at the same time because Yurian does have some good options, especially in neutral against Ken. His spacing, his grab distance is pretty ridiculous. Delayed. Round two. Theophany? Theophany? No, that's not what I meant to do. I've never played this guy before. That's kind of how the rhythm seems to go with playing Ken. Sometimes, like, you'll have matches that are back and forth, but a lot of the time it's either you're getting blown up or you're blowing them up. Ah, oh, that was DP. I accidentally hit up. Stupid as hell. Good mini. Critical art. Good. Fair play. He shouldn't have won that though. <laughs> Honestly though. So he's expecting the jump now. Just gonna be patient. Come on, my DP man. Oh, come on, dude. Jesus Christ, dude. This
Jeez, dude. You can't. Oh my goodness, dude. Starting to get a little tilted now. <sighs> Can't end the stream like that. I was playing a lot better this morning too. I don't know why, just up in the side and you know, I haven't streamed in a while. I should have streamed this morning. Cause now I'm starting to get pretty tired. Which I mean, it sounds like I'm making excuses, but I think we all get to that point. You know, you're playing for a few hours and then you start feeling tired, your reactions and your your reads just start going to crap. And there is a, you, and you start getting to the point where you're playing certain people, you're playing matches, you're playing matches like that. And you know for a fact that you can beat those people. You just know you can. And then when I come back and I play fresh, I match a lot of the same people and end up winning. You know, he, he, he was a better player that time, whatever, but I know I can beat him. It was just getting to the point where I was killing myself, uh, basically I was just, he was waiting for me, he was reacting to what I was doing, and it should have been the other way around, I should have focused on trying to get the life lead, trying to focus on, you know, a little bit more zoning, you know, trying to put pressure on him from a distance, because, uh, Urien's buttons, when it comes to fighting him up close, tend to be much better, especially his freaking crouching medium kick, the distance on that damn thing, holy crap, man. He has like one of the most far-reaching crouch medium kicks in the game. Oh man. Gee, oh man. Another tough matchup for Ken. It's like every damn matchup in this game is a tough matchup for Ken. Matches that aren't that bad. Abigail, I'm actually pretty comfortable in that matchup. Uh, I mean, there's a lot of like lower tier. Alex, you know, pretty comfortable in that matchup. Geef is like 50 50 because Geef can, has ridiculous comeback position. So I'm pretty comfortable in the Ibuki matchup, surprisingly. Um, but yeah, yeah, a lot of, a lot of also bad matchups like this. This guy beat me earlier today, too. Dropped that. He could have confirmed that at the critical arc. He dropped it. Actually, I'm, I'm pretty sure that's probably what he tried to do right there. He just didn't get the input correctly. Panicked. Crouch, uh, Ken's stand heavy kick just has zero priority, man. I swear. It gets beat out by like every dang button in the game.
Bro, I was DP. Yeah, that that's one of the most aggravating things ever. When you don't get your DP on wake up and you like you have a really good feeling you're gonna get it, then you don't. Castle, baby. The noob stuff. Final round. Fight. Of course. Jeez, that fucking sweet man. Get off me. Get the hell out of here. You Give me that run back. Give me that. Picking this laggy freaking stage. Give me that. And I think that's where we'll end it for today, guys. You know, I, I'll say that I want to start streaming more consistently, and I, I think I'll definitely will try. It's really not difficult. I mean, that's how you get people on, you know, watching you. So we're, we're gonna see what we can do. And uh, yeah, if you watch this, if you stop by, thank you. If you're watching it post off, thank you still. Appreciate your support. If you have any critiques on my gameplay, feel free to let me know. I'm not against getting critique. Um, any advice, always appreciated. But until next time, y'all, I will see you then.